Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create merge replication in SQL Server. When we talk about merge replication, that means two ways replication. Any any changes, data changes happen on subscriber end will be published to the publisher end and vice versa. So um, we'll be using two ways to do it, using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. In this particular video, the big points that I wanted to mention is we'll be going through configuring publication for merge replication, uh, publisher security, adding articles to the publication and article properties. So let's go ahead and do it. Keep in mind that um, when you set up merge replication, um, on the subscriber end, you can. This is all about the data uh, replication. If you wanted to do any schema changes, you still have to do it on the publisher end. Merge, uh, subscriber end will not let you do the schema changes. However, you can do the data changes from the subscriber end, and it'll be replicated back and forth. But whenever you need to do the uh, schema changes then you need to go on publisher and make all those changes in the schema of the tables or the object that being replicated so I just thought that I should mention that go ahead and we're gonna this is my publisher right here tech brothers equals equal prod and this is my subscriber I'm going to take a database from here and put it in my subscriber and then have merge replication between that database any changes happen data changes happen on the subscriber end on here will be replicated um, on here and uh, on SQL Server uh, SQL prod so let's go ahead and set up in order to do that you need to expand the replication and up here you have local publication uh, in order to create new publication you need to right click new publication and we'll be selecting a database and I, in this case I'm going to go ahead and select report server so we're gonna go ahead click next and since we're doing the merge replication in this video we're going to go ahead and select merge replication as you can see merge replication has two arrows um, facing each other that means it's a two-way uh, replication so we're gonna go ahead and click next and SQL 2008 or later if you're doing on SQL Server 2005 then you need to this is the backward compatibility options that you can consider if you wanted to click next and the tables that we wanted to basically go ahead and um, uh, select I'm just going to select few tables from here keep in mind that um, these tables also need to have um, right here is one employee table it needs to have primary key so we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, data set and data source these are the three tables just for this demo purposes in order to uh, uh, just see the table that um, are being selected you can click on show only checked articles so we're gonna go ahead and look at the properties of the selected articles I always uh, uh, in my previous replication videos please this is very important whenever you try whenever you set up replication go through go through these options because these are very important options and it depends on your requirement if you have a requirement um, you know that um, that can be compensated right here with true or false then you should consider that this is very important for merge replication we do get another uh, tab up, up here is resolver it is that uh, if subscriber is being updated at the same time publisher on the same table then that's going to be a conflict back behind the scenes subscriber can go ahead and uh, resolve the conflict uh, interactively during on-demand synchronization but if it's uh, scheduled then um, it's way it waits and it automatically does resolve all that if it can't then it will go it will uh, give you error so we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave these properties as default so we're going to click next it says all merge article must contain a unique identifier column with a unique index and row grid property sql add so the employee table that i added right here as you can see right here but i i just have a primary key and um, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that but uh, you should fix this in in your production if you get this message then you can go ahead and basically uh, uh, click on a unique identifier or unique name or whatever that is so we're gonna go ahead and click next and we're not going to schedule this however you do have an option to schedule um, your snapshot right here is a create snapshot I'm going to go ahead and um, uncheck the schedule one and create a snapshot immediately click
click next agent properties is very important in my previous videos I have mentioned that you need to um, the good idea is to have a um, replication separate account and use that account and give permission on subscriber and uh, sub subscriber and the publisher so uh, in my case I do have that account because if you select this agent account maybe this agent account doesn't have permission on subscriber on your other SQL server so that would create a lot of um, permission issues for us in SQL server in replication so we're gonna go ahead and click OK click next we do want to uh, create publication right away and you can generate the script if you want to click next and report server underscore merge publication you can name whatever you want to so finish that <clears throat> three articles were added so we're gonna go ahead and close as you can see our publication is created subscription is not created so in order to create subscription you need to right click and click on new subscription click next and this is the publisher we wanted to use we're gonna go ahead and run all the agents this is push subscription all the agents distributed agents will run on SQL prod if you wanted a, a, a subscriber which is Tech Brothers uh, SQL mirror to run basically you can put a uh, run each agent at its subscriber so it's gonna be pulled it's gonna go ahead and pull all the data from SQL prod and put it in here and SQL prod is going to go in SQL mirror and mm, pull the data so I'm okay with the push subscription this is just the difference between pull subscription and push subscription so we're gonna go ahead and click next and we will add a subscriber right here we don't want to use SQL prod as a sub subscriber either so we're gonna go ahead and select the report server database our report server database before we do that let me show you the report server database tables we don't have any tables right now this is empty database so we're gonna go ahead and set up our replication to get the tables over there so we're gonna click next security I'm going to follow the same practice keep in mind when you generate the script this password will be null in your script so when you run the script you have to basically change null with your actual password what you're doing here if you're using basically this account separate account for application which I recommend so click OK next run immediately continuously I'm going to go ahead and run continuously if you wanted to do on demand then every time the changes happen you want to uh, it's going to go ahead and run the uh, agent and um, you have to run the agent manually every time the changes you wanted to sync but I want it to run continuously so it's uh, about 60 seconds gap uh, every 60 second it merged the changes whatever happened on uh, publisher side or subscriber side it sync between both of them so click next initialize immediately next this is a server and a client so this my subscriber is a server so I'm going to uh, do the su uh, subscription type as a server you have an option if you're doing the subscription uh, as client then you can go ahead and click on client so we're gonna go ahead and click next and click finish alright click close and we'll look at the synchronization synchronization status right here is applying the script now it's syncing the data between these two tables and we will go and take a look close and here is our database on subscriber end remember we nev we didn't have the tables we're gonna go ahead and refresh the tables as you can see all three tables that we did basically is right here so our subscription um, uh, merge replication worked just so that uh, let's go ahead and use our SQL script and then we will make changes um, or let me do it right now let's make changes in the data on on subscriber end and see that if it replicates to our publisher and then we'll make changes in the data 
uh, basically and um, go ahead and uh, check it on subscriber end so we're gonna go ahead and um, edit and employee ID is one two three and first name would be Kevin last name can be null uh, I mean middle name can be null Kevin Scott so we're going to go ahead and save the, these changes oh, I'm sorry the changes value in this column was recognized as valid hold on alright so it was actually expecting GUID so let's go ahead and do select so this GUID is done by the system so we have right here um, Kevin and Kevin Scott one row added on the subscriber side as you can see so we're gonna go ahead and run the same first we are going to look at our status close so we're going to go ahead and run the same command in this server and see if our data is here Alright, as you can see that our data is now on the publisher side right here and we made changes on the subscriber side. Now let's go ahead and make the changes on the publisher side and then we will see that if that change has has gone to um, to our subscriber. So we're going to go ahead and go to the table employee and delete the record. I'm going to go ahead and close this, close this, so we're going to go ahead and delete this, Yes. Let's go ahead. Right now we don't have any data as you can see. So let's see that if it's deleted on the subscriber side. As you can see that it synced right away and we don't have data on the subscriber side let's quickly go ahead and run our script I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we'll run the script and see if uh, we'll go ahead and create the replication using the script so I'm going to go ahead and delete this publication right here and I'm going to go ahead and do the subscription as well right here delete this All right, so we're going to load our SQL script and create the same thing with our SQL script. As you can see right here, this is our script and we're going to run the script. It's first is uh, creating a publication and then down here is creating a uh, if you go all the way is creating subscription so we're gonna go ahead and keep in mind for this uh, user right here um, in subscription let me go right here this is the user where we set the security up this needs to have a password in normal when you create the uh, generate the script 
um, it put the password null so you need to make sure that uh, in this row there's a add password um, um, column you need to uh, basically go ahead and put the password up there or you can do it later on as well so we're gonna go ahead and run the script sorry it's the wrong server so we're gonna go ahead and new query up here as you can see right now the password cannot be null I reproduce this error for you so what I'm going to do is our publication is completed though and subscription is completed but uh, it will not start so I'm going to go ahead and refresh our publication as you can see our subscription is created so let's go in the publication and look at the agent security so we're gonna go ahead and manually do that the reason I'm doing it manually I didn't want to show my password up there so alright this is done so let's go ahead and look at the security up here click OK same with this one you can leave this this one basically that that's okay all right so our password is all set and we saw that our publication is created by the script and uh, a subscription is also created by the um, and we can go ahead and look at the uh, articles what it added as you, as you can see right here it added the script had only three articles that um, were added if you wanted to add the article you can go ahead and add the article or remove the article from here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click OK and basically this is it this is how you create merge replication using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T SQL script and I hope this video helps